Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the 17th episode of the Glide Tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the game scene and start tackling the player inside of the game scene. So we're going to be creating the prefab and we're also going to be adding a camera to it. A really simple camera that works wonders. So today let's open up the game scene. Here it is. I am currently in the game scene. As you can tell, that's the same canvas we have pretty much everywhere with the fade. And then beneath the fade, there is the game scene. So, by the way, you can also set your fade uh, alpha to zero so you can actually tell that you're doing something on it. Um, the code actually makes sure that it is alpha one when we start the scene. So let's head down very, very close to the origin. And this is actually where we're going to be dropping our player model. So let's head over to the artwork model and drop a plane here. Now, because I don't want to have to deal with the same thing we dealt with uh, in the other scene, because the plane has a weird rotation and has a weird scaling, what we're going to be doing right here is just fix it uh, quickly. So let's put that over there. We're going to end up with some values like 90, minus 90 and then 90 in rotation. Let's put the pivot point at 0, 0, 0. And the scaling, let's just leave it like that for now. Uh, since I don't want this to happen, I am going to actually rename this to model, then right click, create empty, and that is going to be my player, the empty game object. This one has to be at 0, 0, 0 as well. And then we're going to drag and drop the model under player. This way, this is now our player. And he has some proper values. As you can tell, this uh, the Z is pointing forward and the Y is pointing upward. So having this done, we need to actually turn this into a player. Now, the way we're going to go about this is by creating first start by creating a character controller. So we're going to add a character controller on top of our plane. Now, the collision point of this is going to be in front of it. So let me just actually take the Z and push it forward. So right about there sounds nice. The radius has to be something. Uh, 0 0.5 is good, but the height could be 1. 1 is perfect. So we just need to have a uh, collision point right about there. And that is fine. If you want to make it wider, it's up to you. If you want to just pull it back, it's also up to you. But, but either way, this is going to work. So something like this, the back of the plane uh, is not really being touched since we're always going in the same motion. We're always following the uh, the neck of this. So this is going to work. The next thing I want to add, and make sure you actually add this to the to the, the player, not the model itself. We're going to be going back on the player and we're going to add the menu player just for now, just so we can test out our camera. Now, of course, this is not going to be the final movement script. This is only to give um, you know, give some motion to the player while we're coding the camera so we can actually see if it's following it or not. Right now, it's definitely not following it. So back on the main camera, we're going to add a new component. Let's call this one player camera. Quite simple, right? Let's actually open it up. And like I said, simple episode today, simple script. And we're going to be looking at the public transform look at. That's going to be, of course, the player or any object we want to actually stare at while the game is running. So that's our private, oh, sorry, our public transform look at. And after that, private vector three, desired position. You're getting used to that right now, but desired position is going to be uh, where we're supposed to be. And then let's add a offset as well. So private float offset. I like to put that on a 1.5 and a private float distance in between the camera and the plane. Something really short for this game. So not something like I used to put, I used to put like 10 for third person game, but this one, Let's actually be close because we like the actual um, trail effect. And then we're going to jump right into the update. All we have to do is, of course, update the position and then update the rotation. Both of these can be done really simply by doing desired position is equal to look at that position. And then we're going to do plus look at right times the distance. So all we need to do on this side is say look at dot position and then push our camera forward, actually backward by um, the distance. So in this case, let's do transform dot back. Do we have a transform dot backward? We don't. So let's do minus transform dot forward times distance. Let's actually make sure we wrap these into parentheses at the same time, just in case. And we're also going to be doing it plus the offset. So plus um, transform up times the offset. That's going to be only a, um, a offset in the Y axis. It's also going to be useful for wherever we're looking at. So once we have this desired position, we're going to do the smoothing. The smoothing is done by doing a lerp. So transform dot position is equal to vector three dot lerp. And we lerp in between the current position and also the desired position 
I like to use um, I like to use something like 0 0.1, but in this case, that's gonna be too fast. So maybe maybe actually go for some time the delta time, but that's also not gonna work. Okay, let's go for something like 0, 0 0.05. If we don't like it, we can actually crank it up or crank it down. As far as the rotation go, all we have to do is transform, look at, and we're looking at the uh, specific position. Let's not do look at like this because this is going to lock on the transform. We don't really want to be looking at the transform. Don't really have it in the center of our screen. We'd like to have some kind of offset. So we're going to be feeding this a vector three instead of a transform. The way we do this is by doing look at position plus vector three dot up times the offset. And that's all we need for today code. I know this is a really short episode. Let's try it out. Uh, once we have our reference right here, I didn't say